Hey everyone from my backyard, just Tilly and I hanging out. Nice sunny day here in Nova Scotia. Um, last night I decided it was about time to sew up the snake skins that I ripped a few camping trips ago because they weren't working so well. And for anyone that doesn't know, snake skin is what you put your tarp in to uh, easily deploy and then to put it away. And I might do, I did do a video of how I deployed it. And today I may do a bit of how I put it away. However, I'm kind of running out of time on the on the video. It's already 16 minutes long, which is a little long. Um, yeah, today's sunny. It's really windy. It's beautiful. And yesterday was dark and cloudy. And so you're you're gonna notice a difference in the videos. I hope I didn't put in too much useless stuff. But I always like watching other people's videos for tarp setup and hammock setup. Like I said, this is my um, Hennessy Hammock Explorer XL, which I don't take out as much now, especially when I'm going light because it's heavier. But it is a beautiful hammock. Everything about it's nice. Like it's just it's well made. The only modification I might make at some point is changing out the suspension lines. I talk a little bit about what suspension I use on it, and the way I do it is really simple and actually quite easy. So maybe if I can spare more weight in my pack. I can take the Hennessy, but um, if you're counting grams, I typically switch over my warp on it, Blackbird. But this one is just as comfortable. It's just a slightly bigger package. Okay. So, so first things, to get all my stuff. The more I get into the hammock camping, the more stuff I end up getting. So even coming in from inside, I ended up bringing a backpack. Hennessy Hexfly. I'm actually probably not going to set that up. Or no, I might might decide. There's just some line. I'm going to maybe set up a tripod. Don't usually carry this in the the woods. It's like a fishing repair line, so it's supposed to be ultra durable. And this is my journey tarp, which I've already taken out. There's the snake skin that's that's ripped. So that's what I'm actually out here to do today is to fix that. I usually have it all wrapped up inside this bag. <clears throat> I think last, Tennessee Hammock Explorer XL. I still got it in the dog bowl. Don't need that. Hey, pup. My Tennessee Hammock Explorer XL. Haven't done any modifications to it. There's the, um, uh, can't remember how long the tree straps. This is the only thing that I do different. Is I use the Night Eyes cam locks. Pretty easy, although this is why I don't take my Hennessy a lot, is because they're actually quite heavy. So basically, all you got to do, you get your tree strap set up, pull this through, lock it, and then you can just tighten it that way. Very easy. This is my hammock gear journey stuff sack. The whole hammock fits in that, or the uh, whole tarp fits in that. And I carry, I don't know, eight of these, whether I use all eight or not. They don't weigh anything. They're Dutch wear. I'm sure that uh, they're just rebranded. I've seen several different ones. I've seen MSR ones look identical. It really doesn't matter. I was always kind of the kind of person that was said, oh, well, I'll just cut a stick when I get out in the woods. And we went to a few campsites where there were tons of sticks around. I just couldn't be bothered. I got got tired of everybody else being set up before me. And meanwhile, I'm still cutting stakes or digging the axe out and the saw and the knife. Sometimes it's just nice to get everything set up right away. So I'm going to just do the tie-outs on the tarp now. Tilly wants to play with her frisbee. And, uh, okay. A girl. Um, <clears throat> I'll do the tie-outs and then I'll hang the tarp. Hey, Pop. 
maybe I'll play Frisbee for a couple minutes first. Okay, so I tie out on this one. I have a line on either side of the ridge line, just off the uh, the, spin, the hulks on the end. Um, I like to wear, use the Dutch wear flies, tarp flies, I guess is what they're called. Ooh, there they are. This isn't a good setup for it because I'm suspending the hammock from actually two ratchet straps, which kind of simulate the tree. So where the ratchet strap attaches is typically where my tree should be. But because it's my backyard, I've got several trees. This is kind of the best spot I've found for it. But <clears throat> the ratchet strap stretch so much, you'll see, like I had to even raise the hammock quite a bit. It's gonna sag a lot. So when I get in it, it looks a little funny. Like it looks like it's, it's sagging about two feet. So I've never had an incident so far. So far, so good. Um, but it means that I have to tie these off the ends of the ratchet straps. And there's, when normally I'd like to go higher, like about a foot above where I tie out to the tree with my whoopee slings or with, with these tree straps. So I'm going to go ahead and hang it. It's not going to look the best, but it, it gets the job done. And I think I've got about a half an hour before it starts raining. So here we go. I never remember which side is supposed to be front or back. And I, it is important with the way I have this one tied. That is really high off the top. And this is the problem with the way I've got it set up. My lines aren't long enough to get to those trees, um, but I don't care. It's for the backyard. This is a big tarp. So for the sake of simplicity, I've switched the tarp around, um, but I'm gonna use the Prusik lines that are on the Hennessy hammock. So what I mean by that is, this is the way their hammock comes and how they recommend you adjust the tarp. So it's right on the suspension line, and it's just a Prusik with that on it. So, until he's got the ground all chewed up here anyway, I'm running back and forth on it. I obviously wouldn't have a hammer in the woods. So, hey, 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 come, come on, you good girl. Okay, so, tarp worm. This is how it works. Got my line staked out. This one is not one of the lines. <clears throat> it's a door line. Line staked out from the tarp. There's my shock cord. Here's the tarp worm. This is probably gonna be hard to do one-handed, but I can do it, apparently. Tighten it until it's tight. And then I just do a, a hitch here. Hang on. Let's see if I can get this for you. This is going to be bad camera work. That might be alright. Just loop it in itself. Come around. It tightens on itself like that. And that's it. So now I'm just going to run around and do it on all the other sides. Because I've already got my stakes in. Okay, so pretty much got it all set up. Um, back up here so you can see it. And this door is still open. I'll show you around the back. Tied the other doors up. Just like that. I mean, you can do it whatever way you want. I prefer... Um, so Shug... I saw this on his videos, as is this. I prefer one of these. So I clip these onto my backpack. I have two of them. Probably should carry four, but this is what you do with them. 
to get rid of your doors. I mean, the doors are awesome. I like having the leading edge open, and I usually have these ones down. So I usually tie these out, but for today, I mean, even if it rains, it's not going to be blowing a lot. It's not going to be cold. It's about 18 degrees, 20 degrees right now, so there's no point for me to to do all that. And I'm going to set this up in porch mode, so if you tie down the doors, then you have to deal with them after that. So, let me see if I can get this camera set up to show you how to do, or show you how I do the doors. I mean, there's probably tons of ways. This is how I wrap the doors up. So, I, I won't, I've got too short of a line. Really, like, I found that anytime I tie these doors down, I usually just clip it to the other door. I stake the one over here, the backside one, and then this one I just clip to the other door. It's just easier too if you want to change how you've got your pitch set up. So, I don't know if it's better to roll under or over, but I just roll over, put my little line in, roll it until you're satisfied. OCD could really tie you up on this one, but I guess it really doesn't matter. Take your clip. And clip it. That probably didn't need a demonstration, but there it is. Okay, all right, the wind's coming up, but it shouldn't make any difference. These are my old skate ski poles, obviously, not using them hiking. Whenever I'm out in the woods, I just use sticks. That is one thing you only have to do grab a couple of them, it's usually pretty easy to find. These are 165 centimeters tall, so they're you know just shy of six feet. Oh, and the rain is starting, so we'll get a move on this you just undo the line let go slack I flip the pole upside down wherever you want to do it good thing about these are they've got a carbide tip which fits right in the hammock gear uh, grommet I'll show you that here in a second probably have to readjust this once I get this next one time up up we got Where the shock cord comes in handy. I don't know if you can hear me way over there. Loosen. Pull. Back up. So, this is the view from the hammock. There's the technical tripod. And there's the tent poles. My dog is somewhere up there. In here, running around. Okay, put you back. The show. Oh, I got the camera set up. Anyway, pretty happy with that. Okay, so I finished showing up the snake skins, which is the reason I set up the whole thing to begin with. That play around with the camera a little bit, show some tarp setup. Um, I'm not a good seamstress at all. I do a lot of leather work, but it's not the same. This is the very fine mosquito netting, basically is what I would compare it to, or no seam netting. That's my repair job. It's not very good. Um, it's lighter than the bug net on the Hennessy hammock, and this is the hammock gear uh, snakeskin. Hennessy hammock makes theirs out of basically the same material that the tarp's made out of, but it makes it a bit heavier. This one allows the tarp to dry um, even when it's rolled up, although your tarp is folded and rolled in on itself, so it's not going to dry that much regardless. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I'm going to take down the tarp, put it in the snake skin. Um, I'm going to put that on ultra fast forward mode, and then um, just just leave it suspended above the uh, above the hammock because I decided I want to keep it set up for a couple of days. So I'm not fishing, going on a fishing trip in a few days, so I may leave it up for for tonight and tomorrow. Anyway, let's get at it.
Okay, so I had to stop the camera for a few minutes. I had to re-thread the snakeskin onto the tarp line because without doing that, it's almost impossible to try to thread it on, especially in the amount of time I have for video. So it's all threaded on. Normally, it would this line would be out here attached to a tree, and the uh, the snakeskin sits on this side somewhere here and uh, is easy to put it back on so stop the video and start it again from that point like I said out in the woods this wouldn't be an issue Okay, that's basically it. Um, it took a little longer for me to get the snake skin on. I, what I usually do is I'll roll it onto itself a lot better and make sure all the lines are tied up. My dog's just in prison here, whining to get out. She was up asleep and she must have heard me come out. So, <clears throat> that's all there is to it. That's your snake skin, your tarp coiled in so it'll dry out like I said but the moisture will stay in because it's coiled up and there's where I did my hack sewing job but I'm happy with it it's ready for the camping trip that I've got coming up this weekend thanks to everybody for watching um, I'll probably be putting up probably a video of our camping trip it's going to be Main, mainly um, boating, fishing. I don't think we'll be doing hardly any hiking, if if at all. And uh, yeah, I might do some gear on it. I'll probably take my war bonnet. Maybe I'll do a setup of that. Dave's got a, the guy I'm going with. He's got a lot of cool stuff. So may do pick one thing to do a couple of minutes of video on. See how it goes.